Hello, my name is Adrian Chapman and I'm from Blast in the Past. I'm here today to tell you how to make a Roman helmet. A Roman helmet just like this one. This is made purely of cardboard, newspaper, glue and some acrylic paint. It's taken me about three days. It may take you a little longer, but I think it will be a really nice project for you to do over the next few weeks. So, what do you need? Um, I'm going to take you step by step through this process uh, and this is what you're actually going to need to make this helmet. You're going to need some cardboard. Cardboard from a large cereal box. This will give you uh, the right length of uh, strips that you need. This cardboard is very strong but it's very flexible. That's the important thing. You're going to need two pizza boxes large pizza boxes like this. You're going to need some newspaper for the papier-mâché. You're going to need some glue, PVA glue. Uh, you won't need as much as this, I've bought it in bulk, but uh, PVA glue will, will be used for the papier-mâché and to stick most of it together. Some thicker cardboard. This will be used for the strengthening of your helmet. You're going to need some acrylic paint, some silver acrylic paint like this. You're going to need a stapler, some clothes pegs to peg it together while it's drying and sticking together, a large ruler or straight edge and finally you're going to need a glue gun. Now to use this you're going to have to have uh, some adult supervision and some help because this gets very very hot indeed so if you can get somebody to help you then use a glue gun if not please do not and that is everything you need to make this helmet all i will say to you good luck and enjoy so the first thing we need to do is to divide our panel from our cereal box into strips four and a half centimeters in width and so we cut along these lines like so uh, do it as carefully along the line as we can so once we have two strips we get two strips and we put them together with about two or three centimeters overlap and then, so this is going to be the outside surface, this is going to be the insert side surface. And what we're going to do, I want you to staple them so that the, the top of the staple is on the inside, is on the inside, so it doesn't actually scratch your head. We can cover them anyway, but if we can get into that, pro that, that habit, it will help. So, we do those together like that so the next thing we have to do is to measure it um, and so you you have to get you might need some help with this get somebody to put it around your head and then measure okay so we'll mark that we'll mark that and then we will measure it we're going to measure it now that is 60 about 60 centimeters about 60 centimeters i'm going to suggest that you add on about two centimeters because when you make this it's going to by the time you've added all the different layers and the glue it's going to shrink a little bit so make it just add on two centimeters so I've got my so there is my overlap there's my so I again get my stapler and remember we want the top of the staple this is sorry remember this time staple it together like that that's better so we've got the outside staple there and the inside staple there so 
that's the the ring which goes on my head quite nicely and now we need to get another strip we need to make we need to put this like this we need to we need to staple it so we've got the top of the the helmet forming um, and so once again I'll staple that inside okay that over like that try and get it as as in there in the middle as much as possible that's the first part we need to get a second strip and make a cross and staple that like that so here we are that's what we should end up with so I, as they say on blue peter this is one i did earlier uh, so there we have a cross what we need to do now is to get some more strips and we need to fill in we need to fill in these gaps so what we do we, we staple these to cover like that so I staple and once once again we staple those in position and we go all the way around stapling as we go remember we've got to make sure that the top of this the staple is on the inside Throw that one around like that and you can see it's now beginning to form and we go all the way around like that until we have something which looks like this uh, and that's what it looks like on the inside okay and if I put that up on my head there is the beginning of my helmet So now the basic helmet is complete, what we need to do now is to strengthen it with little sections of thicker card like this. So what we do, we put a little bit of PVA glue on each of these little sections of card and we place it on the cross piece at the top of the helmet and we stack them on like this they're about four and a half centimeters in width and we put them in position like that and we go all the way over both ways and this is one I did earlier and this is what it should look like strengthen like that the next thing to do is to go around the edge of the helmet and strengthen the edge of the helmet. We also need to cut out the earpiece at the side here, on each side, like that. So, to strengthen this, we use a little template like this, which I've made for the, the, the earpiece on the side and what you need to do is to flatten it because it it doesn't need to be quite as thick on the edge and we stick that with PVA glue and then we begin to stick it all the way around these sections all the way around the, out, the outside like that and by the end of that it should look something like this so we have sections of card all the way around there we have a little template there with our earpiece now when you're sticking that the chances are you're going to need to use going to need to use some pegs so get it in position put the PVA glue on and then peg it in position so it holds 
and you may need to do that in different places just to keep it in position when the PVA groove dries. And so that is the strengthening section of this and the last thing you'll need to do is to stick a, a section of card over like that both ways like that and then also around like that just to finish it off so we've got the strips for the top of the helmet and I've just stuck on the strips for the headband uh, going over to the eyepiece and I've just used clothes pegs to keep that in place so that's all stuck now and so the next thing I have to do is to now fill this area in these areas with papier-mâché uh, and so this is quite quite time consuming and so it's just a case of lots of uh, PVA glue lots of PVA glue on tight little small pieces of newspaper and then stick it in place and just keep doing that just keep doing that uh, go all the way around you're going to need to do a number of layers I would say at least two layers and make sure all the gaps are complete get that stuck in position now once you've gone all the way around okay it should look something like this um, and then the next thing you need to do once you've gone all the way around is then you've got to smooth out these areas here you can see all the corrugated cardboard there we need to fill out fill all that in so just get some papier-mâché and to smooth over the edges between the the ridge and the rest of the helmet uh, and that's what it should look like once you've finished and there we have it all smoothed down and once that's painted you won't notice that at all it's quite rough but that doesn't matter it, it'll probably make it more authentic so so that's all the papier mache complete now ready for painting Papier mache is now complete. Uh, so what we need to do now is to do the neck guard of the helmet, the back of the helmet. So you're going to need your template, uh, which I will attach on a Word document. Uh, and so you need to draw around your template on your pizza box. So draw around it and then cut it out. All right, so cut all the way around your template like that all the way around until we get something like that now cut draw a band about four centimeters wide all the way around this will be where the vertical strip at the back of the helmet will meet that neck guard like that what we need to do is to cut strips we need to cut strips uh, like this which will fold up okay so we get our this this strip this back strip is about seven centimeters wide width and we we actually put that in place and then we fold these up fold these up like this and we're going to glue these like that fold them up like that now these two on the end you'll probably have to trim so we put that in place like that we glue it and then we get our we get our close pegs and keep it in position so you'll need a few pegs to keep it in position like that so you PVA glue it 
keep it in position using these closed pegs and this is what you should end up with once it's dry it'll look something a little something like this and that will then be glue gunned to the back of the helmet like that okay once it's dry that will form the back of the helmet like that okay now while you're waiting for that to dry because that's going to take a long time to make sure it's 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 nice and strong while you're waiting for that there's a couple of jobs you can be doing firstly you can make the top of your helmet the bits of cards that go on the top of the helmet like that and you can P PVA glue those stick them on the top of the helmet and put a, some heavy books on it balance it so it sticks now to draw these two you need the best thing to do is to get um, a bottle top that's a milk bottle top it's four centimeters in diameter and the other circle is slightly less three and a half centimeters um, I've got a, a little pastry cutter which I draw on the, around the inside cut that out and that's the top of your helmet which you can stick on the other thing you can be doing is to cut out now the template is also on the word document uh, the cheek panels which will go here on the side so which will go on the side of your helmet so you cut around that this is the corrugated card you cut around that paint it with your silver acrylic paint and then once it's dry you can get this this is the finishing touch you don't have to do this you can paint it with gold uh, I've got some gold uh, gaffer tape here some gold cover gaffer tape um, it's not that expensive um, and you can just stick that on the, the end of your cheek panel like that and just fold it over and it gives you a nice a nice edge gold edge to the cheek panel and if you go all the way around bearing in mind that surface is going to this surface at the top is going to be glue gun to the inside of the helmet just do it from the top so this is one I finished and it'll look something like that a little bit rough and ready in places but don't worry about that the overall effect uh, will really bring it up and make the helmet look fantastic so those are some things you can do while you're waiting for your neck guard to dry in position So one of the most difficult parts is to put the visor on. This is something you're going to have to, once you cut this, this overall shape out, you're going to have to match it to the shape of the helmet. Because the shape of the helmet is going to change because of the papier-mâché. So once you've got it in position, draw a little line where the hel on the helmet where you want it to go. Get it in position, fit it in position. Okay, and then get your glue gun. and put the glue gun in certain positions where the visor is going to go put it in place like that and just hold it hold it in place like that. Yeah. Okay. now <clears throat> while you're waiting for that just to set you can cut a strip of cardboard nine centimeters by three centimeters cover it with your gold tape on one side and then cut all these little tabs and then it's a case of just curving that up like that and that is going to form the earpiece of the helmet that's going to go on like that 
and we'll stick that glue gun that on when we're ready but we can't glue gun that on until we glue gun the back of the helmet on. So the visor it now is nice and stable. I've put an extra bit of uh, gl glue on the underside just to firm it off. Now we need to put the the neck guard on the back of the helmet. Now you're going to need to do this in stages. So this edge has got to be in line with the back of the the back of the earpiece. So we're going to get a glue gun. I'm going to just do this in stages. So we'll put a little bit of glue on the edge there where we want it. I would say be very careful as it gets incredibly hot but it will stick this in position. So we get that in position like that. Okay, and that has already stuck. And then we need to work our way around. So don't be afraid to go on the inside of the helmet and then stick it on here. So we get that in position. Hold that down. And we go all the way around until it's in place. So it might be worthwhile just perhaps getting clipping that in place just to make sure we go all the way around until it's stuck. So the neck guard is now secured to the back of the helmet. Now if we turn it over now we're going to glue gun on the inside of the earpiece. And then we're going to place our foil here piece and put that in place. And then fold these little tabs and place them in. Try not to burn yourself. Place them in. There we are. And that's in place. And that's what it looks like now. Now it's slightly too too long there, so all I need to do, all I need to do is just trim that, and that's now flush. And that's our earpiece. So now the earpieces, both earpieces, are put on the helmet. The next thing to do, the best thing to do now, is to paint it. So here is one I did earlier. And there it looks all painted. It looks absolutely stunning. So the last job now, once it's painted, is to then glue gun on the cheek panel. And that goes just... Uh, just in front of the earpiece like that. Now you've got to be really careful not to burn yourself here so don't put the of your fingers in the glue. Hold it in place, won't take long. Hold it in place and that's, that's done. And there is our completed helmet.